to sink even a portion of the string he currently possesses willingly. Why would we sheer folly? That doesn't matter. What's important is that we recognize the chance which Jane has been given. We must stop the crime means here. If we do not show the king our value, we are doomed. Make no mistake about it. This is complete lunacy. We will receive no reinforcements. We must hold nothing back. It is our only chance of survival. This, I cannot. Why is this? Be strong. The king has provided us and the capital with one final measure. We will use it to weather this storm. However, to use it, I need you, General Kasatai. Your cooperation imper is imperative. If you want to win, you must trust me. Understood. In this time, let us cling to any hope we find. Lady. No. General Ida, I place my trust in you. So this is the day in capital, huh? You can just defeat King Asher, this war will be over. Too bad he's not there. Like, here you are. Hey, it's the traitor! What is it, Nasir? Well, we, he doesn't know that yet. Are you sure that you have enough soldiers to lay siege to the capital? Your opponent is called Mad King Ashnard, after all. Who knows what sort of traps he has in store for you. He may indeed have something planned. Surely they receive reports of our advancement, yet it's so quiet. It looks like every able-bodied man has been conspired into the army, while women and children have evacuated the area. We're not invaders. <coughs> Excuse me, more soda. We wouldn't lay a hand on the citizenry. There's no way for them to know that. They don't know what their army did to the people of Crimea, however. If they fear that they will be punished for that, I'm sure they decide to err on the side of caution. What? What would happen to the Crimean people? Surely all the soldiers we were in prison are killed? You truly have no idea how to rule a nation. Do you know what happens to a country that loses a war? Everything is destroyed. Homes, lands, crops, everything. And as citizens, they're not even treated as human. Crimeans, especially those near the capital where Dane's presence is strongest, are treated worse than sub <laughs> than the goose. That's... why would they? That's horrible! The people understand this, which is why they pay for protection in the form of taxes. For the royals and nobles who are charged with protecting the people, there is no greater sin than to be defeated in war. It is the ultimate betrayal of the people's trust. Oh, how about the goddess? I am a fool. Soren, enough! Princess, be that as it may, the majority of people want to see the royal family restored to power. They believe that you will help them reclaim their old lives and restore peace. Now it's time for us to throw down Ashnar and drive his army away from Crimean soil. You're gonna throw him down. You're gonna throw him down a face down. You're the only one who can do that. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I do. I, I will save the people of Crimea. This I swear. As I've said before, I won't be turned away. If there are traps, we just fight our way through. This war ends here. Yes, I'm with you all the way. I hope it all goes as planned. I will do my best to make it so. Number one. I, I like to report the results of our last battle. Okay. There, we, there were no deaths and no injuries beyond capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. Thank you, Soren. So, I am in desperate need of swords. Please tell me you have something new. Steal swords! That'll do. I like my steel swords. Do you have steel lances too? Yes! You can never have enough of too many weapons if you're doing a duo or a solo run. Ever. Always stock extra. Always. And guarantees your survival. Oh. Wouldn't help. To, wouldn't hurt to bring these along too. Why? Well, he's a refugee. Um, General. Thank you. Says Jill. Mm hmm. People of Targa were the enemy. You treated them with kindness. I don't know how to thank you. 
Oh, the provisions? It wasn't enough, but I wanted to do whatever I could. It's nothing for you to worry about, though. General Ike... M my lady Is that you? Lady Fizzart? Huh? Hey, it's a lady. Ahem. <clears throat> my voice is totally inappropriate. Oh, well. Let me fix something up. <clears throat> oh, it is you! Lady Lord Charm's lovely daughter! Thank heavens you're still alive! You're... from Tolerica. That's right! I'm Sophie from the village of Luma. I can't live there anymore, so I brought my two sisters here to the capital. After that, I was sure that you'd be claimed by the Dark Angel, just like Lord Shaharam. But here you are! Is this your bodyguard? Ooh, so strong! You watch out for my lady here. She's Lord Shaharam's precious little girl. You keep an eye on her, and don't let those nasty crimes get near her. Um, actually, we're... Please listen to me, milady. We understand all about the floodgates. Lord Charm would never do, would have never done such a thing if he had any other choice. We know it was those crimes that did it. Why, when he when he was on was on duty, Lord Charm and his men used to help us with the plowing and the planting. And once the nice sister got sick, he loaded up onto his wyvern and brought her to the capital to see a doctor. He's the only one who never cared about us country folk. He opened up his heart to each and every one of us. He, he was a good man. Those dirty crimes are to blame. If they'd never come to Dane, that battle wouldn't have happened, and Lord Shaharm would still be with us. Sister, I'm hungry! You're going to be alright. I'll find you something to eat in a little while. Just be patient. That soldier over there gave me this. Can I eat it? Don't be stupid. Throw away. Throw that away right now. We'll starve to death before we take charity from Crimean killers. Ah! Milady, the Crimean army's nearby. Run! You must escape and survive. We're gonna live. Even if we have to eat mud and weeds, we'll do it. And one day, we'll have our revenge on those bloodthirsty Crimeans. If I can't do it, my children rule. And if they can't, then my grandchildren will. We'll get them someday, I swear it! I have to go. Promise me, lady. You must go on for larger harm's sake. You mustn't get yourself killed. S sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be. Well, I hope the revenge doesn't last for the next three years, because after Radio Dawn, everything's resolved. This is from Mist. Mist. Man, that's really straining my throat. Ike! Are you alright? We've come a long way, haven't we? Do you think we could beat King Ashnard? Not as he is, even though Ike is already like Uber right now. Of course we can. We have to. If we lose, Cryo we may never be rebuilt. What are we going to do, brother? I'm frightened. The medallion was my protection. Now that it's gone, my confidence has vanished. Missed. For as long as I can remember, I would talk to the medallion like I was talking to Mother. After Father died, I felt like I was taking, talking to them both. Where could it have gone? We'll find it. Even though it's gone, Father and Mother are looking down on us and protecting us. You're right. I'm sorry. Father and Mother are in my heart, and they got you and everyone else at my side. So, even without the medallion, I'm alright. Everything's going to turn out fine. I know it. That's the spirit. Ike, miss, if you're going to chat, why not go outside? Even if the souls are beginning to melt, it's still cold out here. Oh, hi, Nasir. You're right. I do feel a bit cold. Shall we go back to the tent? Uh-huh. Let's go, Ike. You too, Nasir. Mm, forgive me. Nasir, what's wrong? Hurry up! Uh, of course. You slippery brute. Let's go. General Ike! Sir, the castle gates are open! That's not good. What are they planning? It must be a trap. This is unexpected. Making us lay siege would be far and away to their advantage. I have no idea what they're playing at. Even so, we will not back down. Right, Ike? Right. If we can't tell what they're playing, it matters not how we proceed. Let's just let's just fight as we go. Move out. Keep your guard up, everyone. <laughs>